in our series on electric vehicle charging we examine another pair of cars in this video the ford mustang marky -E and the polestar 2 we observe a single dc fast charging session where the cars were charged from 0 to either 90 or 100% we then check the power delivered corresponding to the state of charge and the time chart of the energy delivered and state of charge in minutes we observe the curve on the energy delivered and then some specific yardsticks on the time chart particularly the time taken to add the first 100 miles and charging from 10 to 50 percent 20 to 80 percent and 5 to 90 percent and the added miles by the car's epa rated range collectively they give a fairly good idea on the car's dc fast charging capability we plan to do this with different pairs of cars learning about batteries and dc charging is another goal of these videos hope you like it the ford mustang marky -E model in this test has a 150 kilowatt max dc charge rate and is charged on a 150 kilowatt dc fast charger it has a 88 kilowatt usable battery pack and an epa rated range of 270 miles the epa range will be the basis of our estimates of miles of range in this observed test the marky -E ramped up fairly quickly hitting 145 kilowatts in 5 minutes in our presentations we illustrate the curve from 5 percent to the point of plugging out in the energy delivery chart and from 5 minutes to plugging out in the time to charge chart though the marquee struck 145 kilowatts in 5 minutes it dwindled almost immediately to 106 kilowatts in 10 minutes but thereafter it stayed steady around the 100 to 90 kilowatt mark till reaching a state of charge of 40 percent it moved lower to 82 kilowatts when reaching 45 percent state of charge and then maintained around the 80 kilowatt mark to 70 percent state of charge then it had a drop to 57 kilowatts at 75 percent and a jump to 68 kilowatts at 80 percent this was at around 47 to 50 minutes at which point there was a steep drop in power which dwindled to 12 kilowatts and stayed at that level pretty much all the time reaching 100 percent with a trickling 3 kilowatts another example on why a user is better off plugging out at 80 percent in the time to charge the marquee seems to have added the first 100 miles in 28 minutes this is a reasonably large pack and some concessions can be granted on the same on our standard yardsticks the marquee charge from 10 to 50 percent in 22 minutes adding 108 miles this is our most favored way of charging on a road trip the marquee charge from 20 to 80 percent in 45 minutes adding 162 miles by its epa range that is the time the energy started to dwindle dramatically the 5 to 90 percent charging took a full 85 minutes adding 229.5 miles and the final 10 percent was even longer relatively taking a whole 45 minutes for the last 10 percent on this channel we have an interesting side by side comparison of our impressions of this car along with the tesla model y i will leave the link in the description the polestar 2 in this test has a 67 kilowatt hour usable battery pack a 205 kilowatt dc charge rate and has an epa rated range of 276 miles the polestar 2 was charged on a 150 kilowatt dc charger charging from 0 to 90 percent the polestar 2 scaled to 95 kilowatts when at 5 percent state of charge that was disappointing Plenty of course depends also on the charger dispensing the energy. Once at 95 kilowatts, however, the Polestar 2 exhibited a consistent 95 to 98 kilowatts of energy acceptance, 
straight till reaching 50% state of charge. That's good on the curve. That's 135 miles of range in only 25 minutes. The consistency hence made up for the weak ramp up. After the first 50% state of charge, however, the rate scaled down rapidly. First dropping to 67 kilowatts at 60% where it held the current for some and actually climbed to 69 kilowatts until reaching 75% state of charge. After which it almost collapsed to first 49 kilowatts at 80% state of charge and then 29 kilowatts at 85% state of charge. Finally ending at 14 kilowatts at 90%. There was absolutely no case to stay plugged in any further at that low a rate. The Polestar 2 seems to have added the first 100 miles in as little as 15 to 18 minutes. The Polestar 2 charged from 10 to 50 percent in our preferred road tripping metric, adding 110.4 miles in 16 minutes. It added 153.6 miles, charging 20 to 80 percent for which it took 35 minutes. It charged 5 to 90 percent in 58 minutes adding 217.6 miles. The factor to see here is that even with very ordinary delivered power, a car can do very well with the consistency of the curve. As we see in this test result, the Polestar 2 did very well in my opinion by displaying a very good curve up front. You want to ultimately see 100 plus miles charging 10 to 50 percent when on a road trip and something that the Polestar 2 seems to do comfortably. Both these cars have done well in the test. The Marquis could have done better on the consistency of the curve, which as we saw with the Polestar 2 can make a huge difference even with lower delivered energy levels. Road tripping relies heavily on availability of good DC fast chargers. Adding 100 miles at 10 to 50 percent in state of charge should be assured by the availability of the next reliable charger subsequently. This is the critical factor. The views are keeping the huge landmass of the US in mind where electric vehicles will be expected to make long distances. The idea of these videos is to understand batteries and understanding the dynamics that make EVs feasible. Most makers advertise the EP range, which means little if the cars can't charge well enough. So when picking your EV, it's important to see the charging capability of a car, particularly if you foresee long road trips. Thanks for your time for this video. See you soon in the next one. Thank you.